So first tell us your name. Okay. My name is Titi Lokpe Ajomali. And it means? Titi Lokpe means forever praise God or forever praise God. I forever praise God. Yes. And is that true for you? Yes, yes. 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 Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, where do you come from, Titilepe? I'm from uh, Nigeria. Yeah. I'm a Yoruba from Kwara State, Nigeria. And how old are you? I am 44. 44. Yeah. Can you tell us something about whether it was a city or a village you grew up in, probably a city, and something about your home and your family? Well, it's a, it's a village, I mean a city sort of, mm -hmm. it's a city sort of, not so big, but it's a city kind of. Um, Town? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. family, my parents, uh, you know, we're Christians, they're God-fearing, my dad is, you know, my parents are disciplinarian. What was his work, your father? My dad is an insurance man. Oh, right. Yeah, he was an insurance. And your mother was... My mom was a nurse. A nurse, yeah. was she? Yeah. Exactly. And you had quite a few brothers and sisters. Yeah, I had, yeah, three brothers, two sisters. Yes. We are six in number. Was it a, a nice family, a happy family? Oh, yes, it very was. Happy, yeah, yes. yeah. They love to help if, you know, they have, they love to, you know, rally around and help. For your parents were God-fearing Christians. I mean, did they keep up all the Christian festivals and things? Yeah, and yes, they are, yeah. yeah. And yeah. were you active in the church, your family? Yes, I actually was, I was in the choir from, you know, from when I was little, really? I was in the choir, yes. You like oh. singing? Oh, yes, I do, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Love. You did quite a lot of studying at higher level, didn't you? What were those topics you studied um, and did you I, go to university for that or for I, college? Uh, college, uh, Polytechnic, mm -hmm. called it Polytechnic, OND. I had a business administration, OND business administration, and after that I went for my HND, uh, marketing, yeah. and um, did uh, my master's in human resources management. Yeah, so I had that. So very form. well qualified. I did that, yes ma'am. Tell me a bit about how you came to get married, because that's part of the story, isn't so, it? Exactly. Yes, yes. Well, um, when I was in my um, ON day, yes, mm -hmm. ON days, I met with my boyfriend, and we dated for some years, yeah, actually, before you know we got married, and we got married, and anyway, things I don't know, how really <laughs> things start, you know, changing, and you know, things. I mean getting aggressive, getting angry all the time mm. and all that. So there was problem actually. So um, <coughs> yeah, I think you told me that you first came over, n not forever, but you came for a while. Yes. Can you tell me a bit about that? Where you came, what you did, why you came? Yeah. Um, actually, that was when um, we, we got married in 2002. So 2000 and yeah, for like we separated, so 2005, yeah, I came here he left for South Africa so I came here because I was really really down then you know a lot of things happened so I came here so I spent about that was about two years or so so I went back 2007 mm -hmm. yeah that was when I went back and during the time you were here 2005 to 7 seven or something yeah. what did you do I was with my uncle. Yeah. I helped him and other, you know, their other friends. Mm. Pick, I pick up the children from school. I do like uh, school runs for them. And did you did you feel that you would like to stay in England, or, or, or were yeah. you wanting to go home again? Oh no, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I would like to stay in England. Really? <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> what took you back? Was that your husband calling you or something? What happened? Well, why did you go back at that point? What he actually told me when I got there was that they, those people, they were working together, you know, I think they were Christians, so they were like, oh, we need, uh, you don't have to divorce your wife, you need to, you know, sort things out. So <sighs> I got to know that it was through, you know, those people that spoke to him. So he said, okay, we need to work things out and all that. So that was why I said, oh, I don't want to get divorced as well. So let's see. That was why I went back. Did you decide to leave? Um, yeah, why I decided to leave was, I mean, it became um, aggressive again, a series of beating and, you know, a lot of, you know, 
um, they're aggressive, you know, talk words, you know, saying things to me, that, oh, you're barren, you can never have a child, you're this and that. You felt you were in danger because he was uh, beating you. The main, and, yeah, mainly beating. And yeah. attacking you. Exactly. And accusing you of being barren exactly. and so on. Exactly. And, and so you left. Was it difficult to leave or not? It was difficult. Mm. Honestly, it was difficult. Yeah, did somebody welcome you when you came? Yeah, I spoke with a lady, like she's a friend, so I, you know, I actually asked her, oh, and she said, oh, no problem, you can come and all that. So that was where I put up when I came in. I now moved to the lady I'm staying with now. Mm. She's a family friend as well, I believe. From she Nigeria? Me, yeah. And she's in West Timson, West Timson is that? Yes. yes. And so you settled there for a while? Yes, right. And what, uh, what's it like there? I mean, do you know neighbours there, or do you know anybody in the community? Or? <laughs> no, I see neighbours. I greet, hello, hello. <laughs> so I just, I see neighbours around here. Yeah. Yes, I see. There weren't really any language barriers when you came, were there? Because you speak English. Okay, no, there weren't. And that wasn't a problem. <clears throat> Did you feel you had to adapt a lot to be part of this? society here in England, did you have to change things in any way? Like what you ate or what you wore or what you did? Mm, not really. No. I think. And uh, the, the society you're in at the moment with your friend and in this area, yeah. is it mostly Nigerian people you see? Yes, mm. yes, mostly Nigeria in that part, yes. Yeah. I mean, if something went wrong here, who would you turn to for help? Yeah, my, my uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he's still here? Yes, he's still yeah. here. He lives in Yeah. And he's committed to helping yes, you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Is there something or somebody that you miss very much from your home country? Right now, that is back home? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well maybe my brother, my sister, that's, yeah. that's just... Uh, <laughs> so now you can't work? Yes, ma'am. What, and so how do you fill your days? What do you do in the daytime? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I read. I read a lot. So I try to read and, mm. uh, you know, and, you know, I say, okay, I pick up children from school and all that. Then that's... You help I, in the house. With yeah, the, of all, oh, definitely, yes. definitely, you know. With shopping I and have cooking to. and... Yes, yes, I do. Yes. I have to. Participating in local community life not so much then, or, or the local church or the local mm. community? Yes, yes, yeah, I participate in the local church, yeah, my church, I try, you know, do what I can do, yeah, what I know how to do. Oh, this is a strange question. What do you think about the political situation in your host country? Oh, <laughs> it's not difficult, yes. Uh, it's, it's hard. <laughs> I'm sorry to use the word, it's horrible. It's, it's horrible, isn't it's, it? Yeah. It's sad, it's, you know, it, at times, in fact, it makes me shed tears and I just think, why is this like this? It's not... Yeah, it's me not too, but what particular aspect of it upsets you most? They, you know, they, they I mean, our leaders, I mean, not, cannot, you know, do the right thing. Mm. I mean, we have the resources, but they're making us feel as if, uh, you know, as if we are nothing and, you know, I mean, they do not make life, you know, uh, comfortable for us. You no. know, that's why I know that, you know. It's the hostile environment. Hostile, yes. It's quite very hostile. hostile. Very hostile. Very scary. That must be a bit shocking for you because Mistake. England is the mother country. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And you could expect to feel hmm. made welcome because you've left a dangerous situation. Exactly, yeah. Um, mm. But you still want to stay because of your child and having a better life. Yes, and so exactly. Yes. Yes. Uh, if you could change something about the place you live in and the way you're living, what would you change? What would be the first thing you'd try to do? Okay, you mean where what? I'm living right yes, now? Yes, or what, what's happening in the daily life and so on. Yeah, I would like to have a better place, you know, to live, to make my daughter feel more comfortable, yeah. you know. Because, of course, we live in a room, we try to, like, <laughs> not 
any every time I you know, don't disturb, I don't want you know, don't disturb them, don't do this, mm. don't go there. She'll say, No, I want more. I say, Oh, just be quiet. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not really convenient. Well, I don't want to inconvenience them. And which, you just have one room to share. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you ever experienced any direct discrimination or racism? There might be, but I don't count it. I just, you know, yeah. ignore, yeah, yeah. I just ignore. Right. Because my understanding is you want to be a citizen. Yes. You want to work. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. And you're very well trained. Yes, ma'am. It must be very frustrating. To it is. You. Yeah. It is. How do you deal with your irritation and disappointment? What do you do to make yourself feel better? Mm. Well, I at times I just put in music, I dance, just... You know, because I feel not, uh, I mean, if I have to sit and start thinking, it doesn't help things. You know, at times I cry, I, but mm. at times I just put in music, I just thank, sing praises God, I thank you. I just yeah. sing, you know. Yeah. At times I watch movies, you mm -hmm. know, just to take it off, because I've decided, no, I'm not going to fall into depression, no way. I won't, no. No, no. you're no. a very strong woman, <laughs> I think. And what would be your dreams and hopes for the future, say, 10 years from now? I feel I'll be doing, I mean, I should be doing great by then. I want to, like, um, like go to school more and do better things for myself, try and be in a better pos position, mm. have a good job and, you know, make life more better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you've got to be very determined. Yes, ma'am. Just stay with it. We will.